Hotep, back at you with another astrological video. Um, this particular video is going to be on the Libras. Shout out to all my Libras out there. 13 taught my Libras. Uh, my 13 signs astrology Libras, that is. Uh, Libra, according to 13 signs astrology, starts on October the 31st, the day of Halloween. And it goes all the way up until um, November the 22nd. November the 22nd. That's Libra. So, the last day of Libra is on the 22nd. The first day is on October the 31st. So, Libra is about like 23 days altogether. Um, it's ruled by Venus. Very interesting sign. Um, Saturn is exalted in Libra. Um, now, your Libra is a very interesting sign. I, I got a lot of um, females I know actually that are Libras. Um, a couple of women in my family, a couple of friends, stuff like that. I've always uh, attracted the Libra sign, I guess, being uh, a Leo. I've always attracted just Libras in general. Always good friends with them, too, for the most part. Libras usually, I usually end up being really good friends with them. Like, they're, like, really sociable, good people to be around, um, beautiful. Libra women are beautiful. Uh, always gorgeous in some type of way. Um, definitely knows what it takes to make a relationship work. Um, if you ever get with a Libra, easy going, fun loving. Definitely a person you want on your team when it comes to even business. I mean, Libras are networkers. I mean, like you're talking about people like P. Diddy. You know what I'm saying? Like, like P. Diddy's a Libra. So, I mean, you're talking like the ultimate social networker. I mean, of course, P. Diddy thinks he's a Scorpio. You know what I'm saying? If P. Diddy's watching this video, <laughs> I know you think you're a Scorpio, Diddy, but um, you're actually a Libra. So, um, you know, Libras are just fun people to be around, fun loving people. Now, it's another side to Libra that people don't realize. Now, Libras rule by Venus. So people get it twisted because Venus is the nice planet. Venus is the watery planet. It's the caring planet. It's the nurturing planet. But Venus has a flip side to it. Venus is a warrior. People fail to realize that Venus will kick that ass. Venus will light that ass up. And Libras are no exception to the rule. They are warriors. Just like Taurus is ruled by um, Venus. And Taurus is a warrior. Taurus will light that ass up. So don't get it twisted. Just because it's not the planet of war and it's supposed to be the planet of peace and a feminine planet. Venus is calculating. Venus is a warrior to where Venus is going to think about fucking you up. Venus is going to calculate how they're going to come at you. You know what I'm saying? Similar, it's, 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 the thing is that a Libra is so nice and sweet. They're not going to do it unless you push them. You know what I'm saying? Or unless you do something to get them to that point. You know what I'm saying? They're not just going to like automatically come at you. They're not going to plot and do it. Like a Scorpio, just... They're, they'll just do it. They'll strike you. You know what I'm saying? You won't even see them coming because they won't even, you won't even have a reason. Scorpio doesn't need a reason. Venus or Libras, they need a reason to come go in on you. But once they go in on you, that's it. That's it. I got an aunt. Um, you know what I'm saying? That's a, a, a Libra. And I'm telling you, these people are no joke when it comes to just, I mean, not taking no shit. You know what I'm saying? Like if people really think that a Libra is, is that opposite, like they're just so nice and because they're ruled by that Venus and what they're doing is they're getting... A lot of people, see, the whole sign of Libra is jacked up, like in Western astrology. So, like, in Western astrology, they think the Libras are, like, all the Virgos. See, that's what you got to realize, like, the only part of Western astrology that's, a, that's really, truly Libra is, is, like, the last... Actually, the whole sign is messed up. I just thought about that. The whole sign of, in, in Western astrology, the whole sign of Libra is totally off. So, anybody out there that thinks they're a Libra in Western astrology is probably not. Now... Um, you might have a Libra tendency, so you might still identify with the Libra, uh, you know what I'm saying, the Libra constellation as far as the scales and the Ma'a energy and the balanced energy, but you're not a Libra, you're probably a Virgo, and Virgos are sweet, uh, pure, um, basically their own type of person, very mutable, change their mind a lot, very fickle, very critical, very analytical, that's your Virgo, I'm not doing a Virgo video, but I have to talk about Virgo when you talk about Libra, because most people that think they're uh, Libras in Western are actually Virgos. So watch my video. I did a video on Virgo. Watch that video. Now the Libras, most people that think they're Scorpios in the Western are actually Libras. They're beautiful Libras. All your people that think they're Scorpios, they're beautiful, especially the women. You know what I'm saying? Like they're beautiful women or whatever. They're, they're Libras. You know what I'm saying? And the men are, are usually like very attractive and handsome men to, to, to like the women or whatever. Venus is going to always kiss you with beauty. Like if you're kissed by Venus, it means you have some form of magnetism. It's not just beauty like, oh, she look good. It's sex appeal, but it's like magnetism. Sex appeal is magnetism. So Venus is a magnet. That's what it actually truly is or whatever. So people fail to realize that because, you know, people just start into astrology. I mean, most Libras, people that are Libras in general don't even know they're Libras and even the Western ones. They, I mean, people that aren't into astrology, so they don't know their gifts. 
Like they don't realize that people that are ruled by Venus don't realize they have a magnet and they can attract anybody or anything to themselves. You're a social butterfly. You don't realize that you're the ultimate salesman and can sell any idea to anybody. Libra is actually an educated person too. Libras are very intelligent. Libra, library, Libra. You see the term library, Libra, Aries. Library deals with Libra and Aries energy because when you go into a library, you read books. Books are ruled by Libra. Aries rules the head. See, Libra rules the scales of justice. And when you deal with law, there's a lot of books associated with law. So Libra rules books. Aries rules the head. Knowledge. So when you go to a library, you're putting knowledge in your head from the books. So Libra, they hit the books. Very intelligent. Very intelligent. Um, very skilled. Very adept at what they do. So that's the Libras. I definitely want to uh, put a lot of energy into the Libra. Uh, uh, the uh, Libra video or whatever because I got a lot of fellow Libras out there that I know that are, that are watching this. Now the Libras, you can't beat them in dressing. They're going to, I mean, they're going to get you straight. For those people out there that, you know what I'm saying, aren't really too keen on dressing, the Libra will get you right when it comes to dressing. I know, you know what I'm saying, because I'm not the type, to be honest with you, I'm not the type that like really go out there and spend a bunch of money dressing. I like nice things, but I prefer my woman when I'm with a woman to kind of do that for me. And a Libra woman is good for that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really keeping that in mind when I do, you know what I'm saying, settle down. Ram Hotel probably will settle down with Libra, seriously, because I'm telling you, Libra, she is good for dressing you. And Leos, we like to be, like, you know what I'm saying, pamper and serve. And Libra knows how to do that. Libra can take care of her man. A Libra woman can do that. So um, a Libra is great for, like, a Leo. Um, a Libra is great for an Aquarius. A Libra is great for a Gemini. Um, your 13 size Gemini, that is, or whatever. So. Libra, Libra is definitely a, a great sign. Like I was saying, I mean, all your malls are ruled by Libra. Um, your barbershops, beauty salons, your parlors, your fashion parlors, all this stuff is ruled by Libra. Like, Libras love to shop. Now, they, like I said, they aren't, a lot of times they're good with money. They got to keep their scales balanced. So they're always looking for balance because they, they go too far on one end, whoop. They go too far on another end, whoop. So everything's topsy turvy with Libra. So, yeah, you got to stay balanced. Um, air sign. Uh, cardinal sign, which means they're they're movers and shakers. Libras like to keep things moving. They like to keep it moving. That's what they do. You know, so I love being around some Libras. That's why I'm so excited talking about this video because, man, I mean, it's nothing like being around that Libra energy. Now, one thing about Libra on the detrimental negative side of it, the sun is in its detriment there. So what happens is when the sun is in its detriment, it makes Libra uh, another person. It makes Libra kind of like easily blend into other people's ideas. It makes Libra not really stand out with what they want a lot of times. And Libras can be two-faced, actually. Libras can turn around and be two-faced and they'll say one thing and then stab you in the back, you know what I'm saying, and do another. So that's, that, that's, that's Libra because, I mean, the sun is weak there, so their ego is weak. They don't have a sense of their self. They're usually somebody else. Like, and in some kind of way, they're always about their friends. They're about everybody else. Libra is the uh, first sign that's not personal. It's called an impersonal sign. So Libra is impersonal. It's all about everybody else. That's what Libra is about. Um, Libra rules the uh, the legs. Libra rules actually like the thighs, or the the, the uh, thigh area as far as the uh, Libra, as far as the part of the body that it rules. Um, that's your Libra. So um, like I said, it starts on October the 31st, ends on November the 22nd. Uh, 13 signs of astrology Libra. We are in that season. Uh, you can actually play off the energy of Libra, even if you're not a Libra. You can play off of this energy. So it's a good time to go out and meet a new female or date or just any type of social network. And it's a really good time for this during the uh, Libra time. Now, we are in Mercury retrograde. And for those people that are interested in uh, knowing about Mercury retrograde, um, uh, I did a video on that. The uh, last Mercury retrograde of the year uh, is taking place. So you want to be careful, you know what I'm saying, going out and don't get into anything new. You know what I'm saying? Um, make sure that whatever you do, you plan it out. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't just walk into a social event and people you don't know. Make sure it's familiar territory. Because, I mean, in Libra, we love to socialize. We love to have fun. But we got to use discretion. And um, definitely got to be cognizant and aware of uh, other energies. Like the Mercury retrograde energy can really get you into serious situations, serious predicament if you're not careful. Um, if you end up, like I said, venturing off into new ground, just don't venture off into new ground during this Libra time when it comes to social, socializing, recreation, or whatever. So that's 13 Signs Astrology Libra. It's time to beautify. Uh, I want to say shout out to all my beautiful Libra women out there. And uh, I thank you for watching this video. And until we meet again, I'll leave you all in peace, love, and light. And to my beautiful Libra women out there, for those people that are Libras and it's truly your birthday month or whatever in the time of Libra, um, you definitely should get a natal reading. Definitely should get a natal reading. Um, information about my natal readings are at the bottom of this video. So, and those people that already got the natal readings, uh, shout out to you. So, uh, 
if, if, if anything in this video resonated with you when it comes to the 13 signs of astrology Libra, that's that's your new sign. So I mean, if you feel like that's not your sign, um, you feel like you are still a Scorpio, you identify with that, that's fine. I'm not here to change your mind. I'm not here to push anything off on you. But for those people that are interested in learning more about your new sign, I suggest you get the uh, 13 signs of astrology natal reading. So that's going to do it for me, guys. I uh, thank you guys for listening and watching. And until we meet again, I'll leave you all in. Peace.